WWE. It was tweeted out. Uh, this is in our messages here, Sarah. So let me go rib it. Uh, but basically, before I get the actual quote, the WWE is planning on cutting down their the amount of live events that they do in a year. Uh, it was tweeted out by I'm gonna find it was from it Mark here. Shapiro. Mark Shapiro. Mark Shapiro Thank said you. it. Oh, there we go. TK, TKO President Mark Shapiro state. This is from a tweet from Wrestling Ops. Uh, TKO President Mark Shapiro states that WWE will be cutting down on live events even more next year and explains taking on less of the marginal but profitable events. And then Shapiro goes on and says, what we're doing is cutting events at WWE. So we're taking our low marginal, marginally profitable events mm -hmm. on televised events that Vince had put in place to grow the brand right you're taking you're taking the show on the road and we got to go to every city we can to grow the wwe brand well the wwe brand while we still have to grow it it's on fire right now so we don't need to carry these marginally profitable events so what was 300 events last year will roughly be 250 this year and next year will be close to 200 so they're cutting they're it's not you know slicing it in half or whatnot you know they are baby steps backwards which i do like that idea because maybe they'll see that it was a little bit more profitable yeah i think it's more so like you know if they are you know they do a show in seattle and then for raw and then it's like okay then the house shows are going to be in um walla walla and then they're gonna go and do boise idaho and then it's like yeah there's these random cities that you don't have to do you know what i mean because like for reference walla walla is probably like four hours or something away from seattle so like yeah obviously you're catering to people who can't easily get to seattle by doing a show in eastern washington because those people are more likely to show up than drive the four hours however how many people are actually showing up to that Walla Walla show that are in that area? Because a lot of people travel also. Like I, I, you know, would go to a Raw in Seattle and I would drive down to Portland to go to SmackDown. And it's like people are going to be there in at the Walla Walla show, for instance, that are probably not even in the area. There's probably people who did drive four hours to go because they wanted to go to a live event. Exactly. So I think cutting those obviously is good for costs for them. Um, it also allows them to give the talent more time off. More, they need it. They friggin' need less it. Less risk point. of injury also. Um, mm. And I think that it all it opens the door for them to up shows eventually, like if they wanted to, you know, but it's true. Like what he said, they're not really trying to convince people to watch WWE right now. People are watching it. Like if you're going to be watching. a fan, you're watching it right now. So they don't need to go to all these teeny tiny cities to try and be like, hey, you should watch or come to the show and you'll watch. They don't have to do that anymore. You can just hit the big cities and dip like that should be enough. That's be. what I think they're doing anyway. No, they are. It's, it's, I'm more on the boat that they're doing it for injuries and protecting the talent because that's more profitable at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't disagree with your theory either. Um, that definitely is a contributing factor. I saw um, some people were upset about it, but I'm like, I get it. If you live in the middle of absolutely nowhere, well, then like, yeah, that fuck. might suck. But like at the same time, you have to realize if you live like two hours away from a major city or something, mostly anything that you would want to do, not just wrestling, a concert or, you know, um, uh, I don't know, a circus, you know what I mean? Like something that a traveling yeah. show or whatever, like you're going to have to travel to the main city to go to that. It's not just yeah. wrestling. It's like mm -hmm. any, any sort of traveling entertainment, um, it's just you know you live where you live. You got to sacrifice that if that's what, if you want to go and see something that you enjoy. Unfortunately, I traveled forty five. What was it like forty five minutes? They actually like thirty minutes or whatever, which is still a long time to some people. All right, I've but, I've 
gone to shows yeah, that were constant. five hours away. I've driven to Vegas to go to to go to a Raw. I've driven fr- to LA to go to a Raw or SummerSlam. You know, like I've driven, and it's like you decide that. You don't have to do that. Have fun. It's all about if you're a road trip person or not. Yeah, I mean, you can do road trips. Then it's not that bad. Well, I think we need to remember that there are these are the wrestlers and the crew that set up all of the shows oh are human God. beings. And, you know, they're doing all of this for our entertainment at the end of the day. And they yeah. deserve to be at home with their families. Like, why do you think it was such a big deal that Triple H was like, no, we're not doing shows on Christmas or we're not doing yeah. them the week of Thanksgiving? That was a huge deal because Vince didn't give a fuck. They were doing shows on Christmas Day because he didn't care. He was like, it just it, all that matters is that you guys are performing. And it's yeah. like, no, they deserve to have these days off like anybody else does. So I think that that this should be fine. Unless they see profits dip, then it doesn't seem like it's an issue. 